We've entered a very funny world with a sitting president indicting a rival and a former president with a prince giving testimony in a court with former prime ministers um, being scrutinised by lawyers. Uh, and although on the, on the one hand, we can say, well, we want the truth. On the other hand, this um, race towards litigation is a race simply to make lawyers rich. It's a madness. Because what has broken down is our sense of trust and our sense of value and our sense of worth, our sense of responsibility. If we can't be trusted to do the right thing, if we can't be trusted to act in office, then, then the point is we cannot be trusted. So we have elected people to office. We have people um, in power who are not trustable, who are not trustworthy. And that is what is demonstrated. And when a prince is thrust into the court to say that our press, which is the second line of defence when it comes to trust, is not trustworthy. Again, uh, and, and he talks of 20 years of experience or more of the lack of honour in that profession. And everybody knows the tabloid newspapers are a byword for filth and it I, I think I think the only indictment here is not Trump it's us this is the state to which our country has fallen and I think this is a terribly terribly um, sad assembly of events I'm doing a programme, um, a, um, a radio show for Australia on Monday, which is rather exciting. And uh, I, I think it would be very interesting to talk to um, another country about these things. Um, in so many ways, Australia has, has set the, the, the model that we're following. Um, but I think often Australia is more honest, and I'd be I'd be interesting to see to to talk and to and to test that. Um, but I'd be interested to know what you think. Have we fallen into a pit? And, and not just us, America, Europe. Have we fallen into a pit where what we say cannot be believed or trusted?